Hey guys, it's Detective Fallen here, back with another investigation video of Yakuza Zero. This is Chapter Three, Mission or Chapter Three, Part Two. Uh, we took a little break last time because we were like an hour and a half in, and I wasn't trying for another four to five hour video. Um, at least not, you know, today. Obviously, probably not until the next week. Honestly probably won't do anything like that but um we'll be trying to catch it in clips at least like an hour and a half to two hour videos that doesn't sound too bad um well let's go ahead and see how much is left of this chapter Last time we left off, we had just seen this little girl who seemed to be lost. We're gonna try to see if we can find her parents. No? Then what you standing around for all by yourself then, huh? No reason. What's with this kid? She's doing it all right, not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Better send her packing. Listen, why don't you hide tell it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? This ain't no place for kids. Okay. Off with you then, you little scam. Kinda look like she had something to say. Still, she ain't lost. And ought to make it home okay. Just hope there's no troublemakers lurking about. This is uh, <clears throat> that one location, yeah, the dragon and tiger, send agents, let's check in on them, we're here, why not, we told dude we would. Mm. Gotta learn more bat techniques for him to train us, okay, okay, I feel that. Alright. Oh. oh, you took it that way. I see, I see. But no, that's not the right answer. Ugh, I don't get it. What's this? A lover spat in public? Don't tell me you're doing the same thing. <laughs> ah, so close, but still wrong. You need to use your imagination on that one. Oh, don't gloat. Can't we just drop it? But, but... What's all the ruckus about? You kids are being awful loud in front of the shop. That's bad for business. Oh, yes, sorry. So spill it, what's got you two flying off the handle? It's this. 
Some picture you drew out of squares has you have that worked up. What the hell? It's not a drawing. It's a crossword puzzle. A crossword puzzle? Hmm. Yes, it's a puzzle with square grids in which you write answer to clues. Each letter of the answer has to fit in a designated square to solve the clue. With this puzzle, once the grids are completely filled, several letters are taken from specific grids and used to form a word or phrase at the end. How about that? That's what's hip and happening these days. It does sound kind of fun. Usually they are, but the puzzle Kokun made is too hard. I'm over it. Kokun? Oh, that would be me. I'm Kokatsu. I'm Kokatsu. Kosaku. Kosaku. This is my girlfriend, Shizuku. Hi. Hello, nice to meet you. So you two made puzzles and get each other to solve them. Yeah, I must really like these things. Uh, yes, that's true, but... Hmm. Oh, well, I'm over it. I don't want to work on this stupid puzzle anymore. I'm happy you made th this for me, but I can't give up. No, absolutely not. Huh? Why? Because... You just can't quit. I'll help guide you to the answers so we can solve it together. Aw, oh, you're sucking all the fun right out of this. By being so intense, Kokun, I don't want to do it. Oh no, you have to, please. I said I don't want oh. to anymore. Sorry to intrude. Have fun solving puzzles and fighting about it or whatever. Just keep it down, will you? Oh, yes, sorry. Excuse me, may I have your name? Huh? I'm Majima. Majima-san? I have a huge favor to ask. May I have a moment? Yate. Say what? This man was trying to marry her in the puzzle, I bet. Whoa, so when you solve your puzzle, it becomes your proposal. Yep, let's see, look at that. To Shizuku-chan. That's some real creative shit. Shh, Majima-san. Keep your voice oh. down. Oops, sorry, sorry. Just trying to say it's real clever. Romantic, too, I guess. <laughs> oh, thank you. But I didn't count on her being so stubborn that she can't solve a single clue. Ouch, that's a tough one. Yes, there's where you come in, Mijima-san. Can you help Shizuku-chan solve the puzzle? Huh? Help her solve it? Why do I gotta do that? If I keep pounding her, she's totally to blow her lid and tear it up or something. Please, my whole future is writing on this. Can you help Shizuku-chan with the puzzle so she can get to my proposal? I... sure. Sure. <clears throat> Alright, sure. I'll help you. <laughs> you will? You're my hero. Okay, get this straight. All I gotta do is help... Let me get this straight. All I gotta do is help the girl solve the puzzle and you're golden, right? Hi. Yes. If the puzzle questions are pro properly solved, my proposal will ultimately emerge. I need you to help to make sure she gets it right. I get it. A proposal is a pretty big deal. Or a pretty big thing, ain't it? I'll pitch a hit for you. Thank you. Let's move inside. Kokun, you made the crossword puzzle way too hard. Can't we do something else? Don't be so quick to give up. When you solve the puzzle, I'll treat you to the best crab they've got. I'd like that, actually, but there's no way I can solve this puzzle by myself. It'll be okay. Mishima-san here is an expert. He can help you with it. Right, Mishima-san? Uh. Like a wordsmith at a crossword forge. Oh, really? That would be so helpful. Kokun's been obsessed with this crossword thing. It's so uh. weird. Can't say I blame him. He's got his whole future written on this. Huh? Ah! Ah! Like, let's get the puzzle started. Let's solve one down. Uh, okay. So, uh, what's one down? What's the clue? Let me see. One down. A dish made by boiling and crushing potatoes and often served with gravy is called a blank potatoes. The blank is where the answer goes. Mashed. Duh. What the hell is gravy? It's a western sauce made from juices of cooking meat, you know, the brown sauce they often serve as steaks, meat, and serve with western <laughs> style. Oh, that stuff. You really know your way around food, shizuku -jun. Yes, but a boiled and crushed potato dish that goes well with gravy? Uh, bruh. Crushed potatoes, what are you talking about? 
from the number of squares, it looks like it's six letters. M A S H E D. Yeah, mashed, bro. <clears throat> Come on. It can't be that hard. Yeah. Mashed. I love how they're communicating telepathically. <laughs> like, that's insane. I wrote oh. it down. Alright, next clue. The next clue is what is the most popular snack food served at a movie theater? Kokon even left a note saying we shared some at the last movie. So probably some damn popcorn, bro. Come on, bro. I mean, okay, maybe this isn't popular in their culture. Maybe these are Western things. Okay, as a seven letter snack, food, the most popular movie theaters. Tis. Wait, you guys. Okay, one, two, three. Yep, okay, okay. Yep, popcorn. Yeah. Ain't it popcorn? <laughs> Shizuku chan, let's fill in those squares. Hi. Popcorn. Okay, um, popcorn. I wrote it oh. down. Alright, bring on the next clue. The next clue is a phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is sometimes called a blank phone. You really make phones you can put in bags or you or on your shoulder now? Man, what a time to be alive. Hello, oh, how old is this game? Okay, okay, maybe the time the time frame of the game is different. Okay, that makes sense. A phone that you can carry around, huh? Didn't I see that called a bag phone somewhere? But that's too short. Is it? I'm totally lost here. A phone with a carrying strap that can be taken anywhere is called a blank phone. So the eight-letter word to fill in the blank is... It's right. <laughs> Get that one on paper, Shizuku Chen. High tech. Oh, no, that's not right. Okay. No, that's wrong. Is it? That's wrong. Companies that make phones aren't going to call them high tech phones. That's so phony. You think so? It sounds like a good advertising to me. Oh, so you're saying it's not high tech? It's shoulder. <laughs> it's those phones that come in a bag you sling over a shoulder. It's called a shoulder phone. I, dude, I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Do those even exist? Like, I'm 2023 20, here. What the hell are you talking about, buddy? <laughs> 1996 to 2023. What the hell are you talking about? Just write shoulder in the blank squares, okay? Hey. You're way too intense, Kokon. But, okay. Shoulder phone. Bag phone. Why two names? I wrote it down. Good. On the next one. Majima san, we're almost done. The next one's. The next one's the last clue. Yeah. Then let's do this. Okay, I'll read the last clue. The term is used to categorize, categorize the faces of men. 
a man with typically plain Japanese features is called a blank blank face. The opposite is called a sauce face. Mm. The hell is that? Teenager slang? Now I'm scared. I think the two blanks are where the answers goes. It must be two words. There's room for eight letters in all. Okay, so the opposite is... So the opposite is sauce face. It must mean that it's got something to do with the flavor or a condiment, right? Sauce face. Oh, that sounds very possible. If a sauce face describes a face that's rugged and foreign, then this would be softer. Okay, a term used to describe the face of a plain Japanese guy, and it's two words followed by face. The opposite is sauce face, so the two words are... I honestly don't know. Sauce, salt, face, free. Uh, salt, free face, soy sauce face, miso soup face. The opposite is sauce face. Oh, I'm really lost. Um, bro, I don't even know it. Yeah. Ain't it soy sauce? Oh, so you're saying it should be soy sauce face? <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, okay. I was right. Uh, uh, yes, yes. Soy sauce is definitely less rich and thick than like barbecue sauce, for example. Yes, so it is Majima san. You're awesome. It's a seasoning and it's a sauce. It has to be soy sauce. Was that right? Yes, it's perfect. Suzuka chan, gotta write that down. Soy sauce, okay? Hi. Yep, okay, soy sauce. I wrote it down. Um, let's see. That's it for the clues? Yes. Yay, it's all done. Wait, wait, it's not finished yet. There's one last thing to do. Do you see the circles on the puzzle? You gotta use the circles, circle letters to form a word. Oh, right, let's see, it says, let's blank. I guess that blank is the word you get from the letters circled on the puzzle, so it's five letters. From mashed, I get the letters M and A. From popcorn, I get the letter R. From shoulder, I get the letter R. And from soy sauce, the letter Y. Okay, now just write those letters in the blanks and read the whole thing loud. loud. Let's marry. Kokun, what is this? That's how I feel about you. I've been waiting to say those words for a long time now, but I could never work up the courage. I thought maybe putting them in a crossword puzzle would help me, and that's why I was so adamant about you solving this one. But I made it way too hard. Sorry. Kokun. So, uh, um... What you read there is how I feel about you, Shizuku chan. Do you do you have an answer? Not until you say it. Huh? Kokan, I want you to look me in the eyes and ask it. Sorry, Shizuku chan, will you marry me? Dot 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 dot. Yes! <laughs> I thought she was gonna change her mind as I know. Thought she was about to swerve, my boy. Even though he made that bomb ass puzzle for her. Really? Really? You will? Sweet. Yes! How hard was that? I wish you would have just said it instead of putting me through this, you idiot. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't think you'd have much, so much trouble solving it. I did it on purpose, you know. I wanted you to mm -hmm. say it. Wait, what? Forget it. Congrats, Ko Ko Saku and Shizuku. Alright, let's let these two lovebirds get married now. Or whatever the hell they're gonna do. Fight. Most likely fight. Majima-san, I can't possibly thank you enough, but please take this. I got five tourmalines. <laughs> pretty, uh... <laughs> pretty baller. Yeah. This guy just gave me gems. 
From now on, I will need to convey my feelings. I'll say it in my own words. Kokun. <laughs> You're sappier than a tree, Kokun. But good for you. That was corny, my guy. But good one. Thank you so much. We're going to be happy together. Ah. Yep, no doubt. Instead of making this one a full-on encounter, um, I'm going to make, or not a full-on encounter, a full-on investigation. I'm going to make this one of the side encounters and go ahead and save the game here. We will pick up uh, on the next one and do a f maybe a full-on investigation or maybe we'll do some more minis. But uh, let's go ahead and save the game for now. Um, if you guys happen to like this video, please leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it very, very much, and I will see you guys later.